Over time, I've discovered many benefits to a full frame bag and a few downsides as well. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the pros and the cons of a full frame bag and my experience with the Alp Kit Stingray Custom. The first one I had was on my brother cycle's Big Pro. I used it a lot in different weather conditions, on day rides and bikepacking trips. The bag did such an amazing job that I decided to order a second one for my touring bike, uh, surely this trucker, so I could rely less on panniers and racks and for short rides use only the frame bag so I could save some weight. On this bike the main triangle was much bigger than the Big Pro and I realized that can make a big difference in terms of the volume you can carry, so for my new bikepacking bike I knew from the beginning that I wanted a bike with a good size main triangle and that was one of the reasons I got the Surly Bridge Club because this bike is not suspension corrected and the slope on the top tube is not very pronounced this is my third custom full frame bag uh, that I've ordered from Alpkit and this one here is my friend's bag he's had it for even longer than me and it was him who actually recommended it to me before I tell you more about the Alpkit Stingray, I just want to go over the main reasons why I become such a fan of full frame bags. The first reason is the accessibility. There is one part of the bag that will be accessible while riding. I always use it for whatever I need to have at hand, like a rain jacket or the GoPro. The second reason is the stability that provides having the weight at the center of the bike, but especially at the lower center, that's the best place to put all your heaviest stuff like food tools or a lock if you need to carry one. Carrying the weight at the center gives you a lot of stability, especially when you are on technical terrain. Third. As part of a bikepacking setup and for technical terrain, your bags will be far from obstacles on the ground, you can pass through narrow gaps and because all these bags are strapped to the bike frame, they don't rattle like panniers do. Fourth, a frame bag combined with other bikepacking bags can save you the extra weight of a rack. Is there any downside? Yes. First, side winds. A big frame bag is gonna create more resistance to side winds than any other setup. You gotta be careful with that. Second, a custom full frame bag is difficult to use on multiple bikes. Although uh, there are some frame bags, like the Ortlieb for example, they're gonna fit into multiple frames, just the fit is not gonna be perfect like on a custom bag. Third, um, they are difficult to take off the bike in comparison with panniers. Many times you'll have to take what's in the bag with you to the tent or the hotel room and leave the bag on the bike. Fourth, they offer limited storage compared to traditional panniers, but on the other hand they can help you pack lighter and more efficiently. Now let's have a look at the Stingray frame bag from Alpkit. <music> You can order this frame bag to perfectly fit your frame main triangle. You need to make a template, follow the instructions they provide on their website and then send it to their workshop in the UK and then they'll send you the bag. The construction is very good, the fabric is very resistant, the seams are sturdy and the zips are heavy duty. And although the fabric is waterproof, I still put my essential items in a plastic bag when I know there's, there's a risk of heavy rain. For the installation, there is a webbing ladder on the sides of the bag, so you have a lot of flexibility on where to put the velcro straps that are provided, or in my case, the cord. I put cord only on the top, because once the bag is properly fixed on the top, it only needs a few more straps on the diagonal tube and the seat tube. The top is where the weight of the content is going to pull the most. Also, putting the cord only on the top makes the installation easier than putting cord all around. After heavy use, the velcro straps can damage the paint, so it's a good idea to put some tape underneath. With the cord, I haven't experienced any paint damage so far. 
I ordered a 6 cm wide bag, which is the widest option, and I have no problems with crank clearance or leg rubbing. My crank set is a Shimano Dior 3x10 with a Q factor of 181.5 mm. I ordered my bag with two pockets on the drive side and one document pocket on the other side. The two pockets on the drive side can become one big pocket as the separation between the two compartments is held with velcro. The access while riding is nice and easy and I'm very happy with the capacity of the bag. This is what I can fit. A one-person tent, a camping stove, a tool kit including an inner tube and a pump, a lock, a battery pack and a rain jacket. The capacity of the bag is 7.5 liters, but of course this will vary according to the geometry of your frame. Mine, as I mentioned before, is a Surly Bridge Club size large. If you are looking for a frame bag, you might also want to take the Revelate, the Surly Revelate and the Ortlip frame bags. All these are very good quality brands. If I forgot to cover something or you have any question, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you next time.